Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Figma Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty Gerlukovic Soldier. I probably messed that up, but uh, I think that's how, I mean, that's how it's spelled, so it's probably how it's pronounced. Anyway, this is the bad guy for Metal Gear Solid 2, and at least I think he's a bad guy. I, I don't know, I think this is a pretty terrible figure, despite some of the good things it does. It's overall pretty bad, but uh, I know a lot of people were really excited for it, So, and I know there's a lot of people that are fans of Metal Gear Solid, so let's go ahead and get it off the stand and we'll see how everything plays out. This guy stands just about 16 centimeters tall, just a little bit over that, which makes him just about six and a quarter inches. So he does have a little bit more size to him, and he's really bulky, but that's one of the things I don't like about him. He, he, I know he's supposed to look like he's got lots of layers and like you know poofy clothes on and gear and stuff, but it just ends up making him look like he has a really big pot belly and wide hips. It's very displeasing to look at. Uh, I mean, it's obviously not like it's gross or anything. It just doesn't look good. He doesn't look like a soldier of any kind. It looks like a guy dressed up as a soldier. Uh, the paint job is really nice. I like the camo that they did, and there's lots of nice details throughout, so can't fault him for that. It looks, it looks very good in terms of paint, but that's really it. I don't care for the proportions. I don't care for the articulation. And we'll get into that as we go. First, let's look at accessories. We do have two interchangeable faceplates. The one standard one and then the one with the eyes glowing. We do have his rifle and his knife and a magazine and a whole bunch of hands. We have the two fist hands that come on him in the package. We have two kind of relaxed hands, two gripping hands, uh, one secondary gripping hand for the gun and the trigger finger hand, and then another set of kind of slightly less relaxed hands. We have the little clear piece that goes into his back to hold up the exclamation point, question mark, and the Zs. And that comes apart so that you can use it with the display stand that he comes with, or just on his back on its own, or just on the floor next to him, or however else you want to do that. So there are definitely some options there. And then lastly, the uh, final accessory is actually part of the packaging. It's the insert for the packaging. It can be uh, taken out, it's perforated, and turned into a locker, which is kind of cool. So that's it for accessories. As far as posability goes on this guy, it's very, very limited. The head is on your standard Figma type of joint. The neck is on a ball peg, but you can't really do anything, anything with it. It rotates just a little bit. It can look up and down just a little bit, and that is it. And this piece pops off way too easily. Not completely off, but it just goes like that very easily. So definitely problematic. And then you can see here that the part of the shirt that's supposed to be like underneath the vest sticks out in front of the vest and clearly terminates right there. So it just looks really weird. It's not good looking. We have your standard Figma shoulders, and they don't work very well at all. So there's a ball peg that goes into the torso. And then, well, let me see if I can just pop it off. Yeah, there you go. So there's a ball peg that goes into the torso. In fact, he might even have the straight peg kind. It looks like he does. So straight peg with a ball hinge and then a ball peg that goes into this socket, which would be fine, I guess, if it actually functioned, but it really barely does. And that's because of the sculpt. This part's soft a little bit, so it won't get in the way that much, but the way they have the shoulder, the sleeve, all pushed forward to hide the joint, it limits the articulation quite a bit, and it just doesn't work well. And because that's where you get your swivel, it's very limited. You can't really get the arm across the chest in any capacity other than at the elbow. So, uh, I don't know. It's just very, very limited and not great. For the elbow, it's... And might be a ball peg down here, but it's at least a straight peg up here and then just a single hinge, which works well enough, and it's okay. Uh, I don't know. It's just okay. It's pretty ugly. For the wrists, you have a little ball hinge, but they're really far set into the sleeve, so the sleeve hides the articulation completely, and you can't really move the hands. So that's no good. For the upper torso, let me show you what we have. The inside part is just a giant block of plastic that connects with a single ball peg to the crotch and then there's a, a socket right here or a peg hole for the joint that's all the way in there. I don't know if you guys can see that but it's a standard Figma joint but it pegs in at a very steep angle to the torso and then it sticks straight down into this piece and then this is just a separate there I can show you that way I forgot about that so that's the joint it pegs in horizontally almost then you have this whole separate thing here which I guess is supposed to allow you to do an ab crunch on this hinge, but this hinge is nowhere near stiff enough for that plastic. You can't lean him back and you can't lean him forward, and since it's all connected, it's very, very hard to pose him in any way at all. And he, there is that big belly, that pot belly situation. It's just a really, really poorly designed 
poorly engineered design, I guess. It's also a pain in the ass to put back together. And then the crotch piece is just a floating crotch piece, but as you can see, he's got really wide hips, really poofy crotch piece. And then you just have your standard ball pegs down here like any Figma does. And it works okay, but they don't have that much range. Not so far out to the side, not so far forward. And they just look goofy. I don't know. I guess it's because the diaper is so big and they kind of pinch in and it makes them look... It just looks weird. I don't know what it is. It's not great. You do have a swivel down here just above the knee if you really need that. And then you can see the knee is a really ugly design. Good range going back, but looks terrible from the front once it goes back. And when it's straight down, his leg bends too far. And it's just poorly executed almost all the way around. The ankle articulation is your standard hinge for Figma, but it doesn't let the foot go very far forward. It only goes a little bit back. And you can see it's just a really ugly joint the way it is on the foot. It's all the way forward and there's a big gap here. And you can do a little bit of an ankle rocker, but just barely. And then you have a toe hinge that's really loose. So there's really nothing good about this guy other than the paint. I don't like it at all. I don't think you guys will like it at all either. I guess the accessories are okay. But the figure itself is just really disappointing. It, it's just really, really not good. So don't buy it unless you absolutely need to, in which case... Don't blame me if you don't like it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you turn on notifications and don't miss any of that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting. <laughs>